Good morning, y'all. I'm coming to you from my car before I head into work <clears throat> this morning. I'm not driving, so that's okay. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something that happened at Blog Her, and I thought it would be better if I did it in a blog as opposed to writing it out. Um, I'm not sure it's going to carry the same weight if I write it, so here we are. I hope that's okay with you guys. I'm sure before Blog Her happened, a lot of you saw the tweets and the uh, the pre-Blog Her posts about you really need to wear comfortable shoes. Those were dead on. There is a lot of walking back and forth from the hotel to the conference center. Um, you know, there's a lot of standing around, talking to people, dancing at the parties, Really, you're on your feet a lot, probably a lot more than, you know, what you're used to, I, a lot more than what I'm used to in a normal day. The first night, I decided to wear a pair of, you know, heeled wedges with that are strappy, which I think are really cute, and um, I thought they looked great, so I went upstairs to my room, and I got dressed, and we walked to dinner, and then we walked back to the hotel, and then I went to a party stood around, talked a while, danced a little bit, um, went to a different party, stood around some more talking, and you know, my feet were just killing me. I'm not used to wearing heels. Um, I try to wear flatter shoes to work and during the week. So finally, I took them off, and I went back up to my room, and I soaked my feet in some hot water in the bathtub, and I thought, well, in the morning, I'll be fine. Everything will be great. Yeah, I was wrong. So, um, the next day I got up and my feet were really sore, so I just, and I had planned to wear those same pair of shoes. Stupid. So I did not. I wore some flip-flops that I had taken with me, and you know, I just noticed throughout the day that my feet, you know, particularly, you know, one of the toe, the small toe on my right foot really hurt really bad, and so finally I looked down at it, and to my horror, I had this huge huge blister on my toe that I didn't notice. I have no idea how long it had been there, but it was enormous. And my roommates, Melissa and Elaine and I took to calling it six toe. Yes. I had six toes at Block Her. And I've got a picture of it to show you. So without further ado, as Melissa said, dum 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 six toe. What did I tell you? I know that was some disgusting stuff that I just had you look at, but I had to share with you the absolute horror of sixth toe. It was disgusting. Finally, on Saturday, I thought, you know what? This has got to go. This is nasty. So, I drained it. Gross, I know. Um, put some medicine on it. Put a Band-Aid on it. The band-aid did not last more than like 30 minutes. And I thought, well, that's it. It's gonna get, it'll be fine now. So I went on to say some sessions. I walked around and it wasn't long before I looked down and I realized it was back. Yes, it was back. It did not go away. It came back. So, I battled this the rest of the weekend. I mean, it was disgusting. It hurt. Oh, my God. It hurt so bad. Until finally, I got in my car Sunday night from the airport. And that's when... Hang on. Just a sec. I sliced that puppy open. Yes, I did. I'm not even joking. And the blister was gone. Unfortunately, the pain was not. No, I didn't slice my toe. Just the blister. So, don't go there. But, I got home, cleaned it up, put some medicine on it, wrapped it up. Finally, today, Wednesday, I can wear shoes again. So, basically, I have not been able to wear normal shoes for a week. Thanks, Blog Her. And everybody that mentioned that about the shoes, dead on, 100% right. And if I ever get to go back, I will never forget six toe. 